Excel templates can save you time designing, setting up, and standardizing forms and reports. There are hundreds of free templates covering all sorts of documents and themes available for all Excel users. They work in the Excel desktop app and Excel online. In this video, I'm going to show you where to find them and how you can set up your own templates. In the Excel desktop app, you need to be connected to the internet. Here you'll find the free Excel templates via the file tab and then new. You can search by the categories here. You can scroll through or we'll go back and select a different category. Alternatively, you can type in your own search term. So let's say I want to find all tracker templates. Simply type it in and press enter. Selecting one of the thumbnails gives you more information about the template, including who developed it. And you can use the arrows to scroll through and take a peek at the next template in the list. Once you've found the template you want to download, click on the Create button and it'll open a copy of it in Excel. From here you can start using the template. You can edit it just like any other Excel file, modifying colors, changing the data, editing formulas if required, or simply use it for inspiration to create your own. Not only can you use templates to save time and standardize documents, they're also a great way to learn techniques, including advanced approaches to structuring files, best practices, and formulas. If we take a look at the formula in this cell here, you can see it uses nested functions and it leverages Excel table structured references. We can use the formula evaluation tool to get a better understanding of how the formula works. Now, when you save the file, you'll be prompted to give it a new name and file location, so you don't accidentally overwrite the template. So far, we've looked at using templates in the Excel desktop app, but you'll also find templates in your browser at templates.office.com. Here you can search by popular categories, special events and milestones, or by app. And notice that templates are also available for other Office programs like Word and PowerPoint, etc. And if you have a Microsoft 365 account, you can download premium templates like the loan amortization schedule I used earlier. You'll also find templates when you're logged into Office 365 at office.com slash create. And again, we can search by types of templates. Now I should point out that premium templates also appear in the new list here when you're logged in. Now you can create your own templates by saving the file as a .xltx file type or macro enable templates as .xltm files. And you can choose the file type in the drop down here under save as. So we've got the macro enable template here and the regular template here. Once you choose one of those file types, notice that it changes the file path to your local drive where templates are stored. This means personal templates saved here are not available when using Excel online. However, you can always save them on OneDrive or SharePoint and open them from there. As long as you've saved it as a .xltx or .xltm file type, you'll be prompted to make a copy of the file when saving it, so you want to accidentally overwrite it. Then to retrieve your template, simply go to the File tab, New, and then you'll find it under Personal. You can see here I have two personal templates. Simply double click to open the one you want. Of course, Microsoft are not the only source of free Excel templates. There are plenty of websites offering them, but one of the best and most comprehensive I've found is vertex42.com. You can get both free and paid for templates here, but we don't make any money for recommending them if you do choose to buy one of their templates. You can see they've got an extensive list of categories covering all types of templates available. And then lastly, another source of templates are my Excel dashboard tutorials. Each comes with the completed Excel file available to download. You'll find many of them here on our workbook downloads page and also on the blog. Almost every blog I do comes with an Excel file, which you can download. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.